Hello everyone and welcome to the Fudge Nugget Kingdom. My name is Genesis9876 and welcome back to Apollo Justice Appeal to Truth. Yes, I know, it has been a while and I humbly apologize for that. But I'm back, I'm ready to get back into the swing of things, and I'm more ready than ever to continue this game. The first case of this game was fantastic. It did a really good job of portraying the moral dilemma between finding the truth and properly protecting your client, which I feel is something that should be kind of touched on more even in the official games, honestly. And I also hope it gets touched on more in this case, which we're going to be playing today, Turnabout on Rails. And of course, we got a nice, lovely picture of Godot on the front. How you doing, Godot? You, you doing good? Glad to hear it. You know, um, you've really turned into a bit of a prick since Trials and Tribulations, huh? So, um, what, what's up with that? I'd, I'd like to know what, what, what's up with that. What, what? Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Turnabout on Rails. Click that new game and let's get started. That's a train sound. Um, sorry. I I need to tell you something. I don't understand. Why is everyone leaving? Mama, why is everyone leaving? It's really important. Uh, oh. Are all my friends going to come back? Poppy and Big Bro are going to come back, right? The, this is home. We're going to stay here forever. Can we go to the next car over? I, I don't know who's talking. Uh, okay, I'll go. We're gonna... We're gonna stay here. Right, Ma? We're gonna be okay. Honey. J just say yes. Please say yes. I don't know, sweetheart. Attention passengers. We'll soon be through the mountain tunnel. The next station is our final stop, so I hope you'll be getting off. I'll repeat. We're coming up on our final stop. We'll be arriving at Karain Village shortly after we remerge. But n no, this isn't fair. Poppy, big bro, come back, come back. Oh. Was that a train crash? Er, sh she's helpless. Now's your chance. I, I can't. No, l let go of me. Oh. Is that electrocution? A whole slew of things just happened that I could not discern for the life of me. June 1st, 7.16 a.m. Fay Law Offices. Fay? Oh! Oh my god, it didn't even register in my mind. Fay Law Offices. And we're literally inside the old Fay and Company Law Offices area. That didn't even register in my mind. Dude, we're in the Wright & Co. Law Offices, except it's the Fae Law Offices. So is this alternate universe that Phoenix never even existed? What? And now Godot's at the head of this office? I'm incredibly confused. Alright, Apollo, you can do this. No pressure, it'll be fine. Look, if you want to work under a talented attorney, that's fine. But I don't want any of this to keep up. If you can't change the situation, you walk straight out of that office. You got that? Besides, there's no guarantee it'll change anything. So no pressure. R right? And more experience can't hurt either way. The least I can do is give it a shot. What's up, kiddo? H hey, kid. Oh. Uh, good morning, sir. W welcome to work. 60 minutes late, but today's not the day to be complaining. <laughs> <laughs> when even the boss is late for work. Oh, holding back on the witty comments today, are we? And what's with the sir? Haven't seen you this chipper since I first hired you. Uh, well, um... Ah, uh, come on, out with it. What is it you want? Er, <clears throat> he saw right through me. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. I was just, uh, thinking about taking another case. Kid, even the best blend of coffee will taste bland if you drink it enough. Take a few months between cases. No point in working when you already have enough to get by. But I, uh, I think you might be interested. Maybe? Ha, huh. have you lost your mind? Did you just instantly revert back to that naive little hiree I picked up after winning one case? 
Look, you know I don't care about whatever case you picked out, don't you? I figured that would probably be your first response. If you really want to go play hero for some pitiable damsel in distress, be my guest. Just don't expect extra support from me. C could you at least look at the case file? Maybe if you brew me a cup of coffee. He's not going to look at it either way, is he? Fine. What's the second cup for? I'll be needing one. Because? To help me <laughs> Huh. Now you're back to your old self. I was waiting for it. Are you going to read over that file now? I'll look it over if I feel like it. You haven't even secured the case yet. I already scheduled a visit to the detention center. Mostly so I couldn't back out of this. Well, you better get going then, huh? Besides, I've scheduled my own visit with this fresh cup of coffee. Wouldn't want me to let her down, right kid? We're gonna go make out in the corner. <laughs> right. Step one's already going about as well as I expected. I'll just leave the case file here. You know, just in case. Do what you want. It's probably better not to force it. I guess I'll just have to take the case and hope he notices. Alright, sounds good. Uh, let's talk to him. The case. So, uh, what are you doing standing around here for? Other than wasting my time, of course. Either go get that case of yours, or get back to work, will you? Right, sorry. Okay, fine. Yeesh. Uh, what if I present the attorney's badge? You know what? Maybe that... Maybe his... Maybe my spirit... My attorney's spirit will change his mind. What? Do you want me to acknowledge that you're an attorney? That'd be nice. Actually, yeah, that'd be nice. Huh. If a man gets too absorbed in their identity, then they won't leave behind anything for the rest of us. Yeah, okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Alright, you heard the man, you heard Apollo. Let's leave. Let's go see the detention center. June 1st, 7.38 a.m. Detention center visitor's room. Let's see what pitiable damsel in distress we're gonna see now. According to our coffee addict of a boss. It sure is taking the guards a while. I guess the crime only happened last night. She's probably exhausted from questioning. I wonder if Godot could actually let a whole case go by without knowing who my client is. I mean, if anyone could. Ugh, stop worrying about it, Justice. You'll be fine. If this works, it works. Just leave it at that. Oh! Yo! Pearl! Hey, how's it going? Yo, it's been a while. I'm surprised you're the one in the detention center. Usually it's your cousin who ends up getting arrested. Act, how long has she been here? S sorry um, hello? Hi. I'm not gonna do any high voices for the females cuz okay. When I was doing Payne's voice in the last two videos, my voice got shredded. Like my throat got destroyed from Payne's voice. <laughs> oh my god, I, I literally had trouble speaking for like a few days. So I'm gonna tone it down on the really high voices. I'm just gonna stick with more or less like mid-range my voice. You're Pearl, right? Pearl Faye? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Apollo Justice. I'm a, a defense attorney, right? Huh? I can see the badge on your lapel. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> so, uh... Not one for conversation, is she? Not usually. You're, um... Going to ask me to defend... You're going to ask to defend me, aren't you? I mean, y yeah, that's why I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh... Already asked someone to represent me. Who? Phoenix? Oh my god. I hope we see Phoenix. But if that's the case, then why is the our law office called Fay Law Offices? Whatever. Anyway. Huh? That's strange. The police sh said she didn't have a defense attorney yet. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Oh. Can't really argue with that. <laughs> you'll, you'll, um, let me keep my attorney, won't you? W what? Of course, of course. Why wouldn't I? Well, you're not leaving. Fair point. I, uh, um, well, I guess I should just come out and say it. W would it be okay if I asked you a few questions? It's about the law office I work at. I, I think you might be interested. I don't know.
Wait a second, ma'am. You have to schedule your visit beforehand. You can't just. Oh yeah. Well. Oh oh. Egg. Wait, what exactly is this? Egg. C come on. Who? I don't know who question mark question mark question mark is. Look at the last page. The signature. Oh oh. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were so important. That's right. That's right. I am. Now hands off, Mister. Let me through. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh my god, you're here too. Yes. Oh my god, this is a whole Phoenix Wright reunion. Ugh, sorry about that, Pearly. No, no, it's all right, Mystic Maya. Can you believe it? They wouldn't even believe I was a defense attorney. Even with this. Oh my god, she got a badge? Is she an attorney in this alternate universe? I'm so confused behind the details of this alternate universe exactly. I don't know what exactly is changing and what's the same. Mystic Maya, you can't just go around and lie to everyone like that. Oh, that's not a real one, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm not lying anymore. I got him to sign off that paperwork, Pearl. You actually got permission? Ha, huh, you'd be amazed what you can get people to sign off on in a hurry when they're swamped with work. <laughs> but, but Mystic Maya, you can't do that. Oh, please, he can deal with it. Who, Edgeworth? Besides, what do you think he'd have said if I gave him time to read the whole thing? Oh, I'm so sorry, Maya, but I'm too pretentious and important to support your fraudulent career. Tut tut. I, that has to be Edgeworth. Uh, w what's going on here? <laughs> but Pearly, how long has he been here? Um, he was here before you arrived. The whole time? Why didn't you tell me? It's all right. It's all right. I was just offering to be your defense. That's all. Oh, well, sorry, but I don't think Pearly will be trading me out for some stranger anytime soon. Um, are you actually a defense attorney? No, not at all. <laughs> Wh what Of course I am. I'll have you know I have several years of office experience. I bet I've been in law longer than you have. That's true. She has a point. Just look at this badge. It's got a veteran silver sheen. There's no denying it. You know, I heard your whole conversation with her earlier. <laughs> Uh, I, I know that. Ah, what's that menace for? Sorry, sorry, I just... Oh, don't worry about it, Pearly. Listen, kiddo, please don't call me that. Fine, look, the point is I'm taking Pearl's case. I got permission and everything. Uh, all right, all right, that's fine. For the last time, I'm not here to fight you over this case. You can have it. It wasn't really why I was coming here anyway. Uh, huh? Uh, how do I put this? You're a fae too, aren't you? Ooh, so that's what this is about. You just wanted to do Pearly a favor so you could get someone channeled, huh? Ch channeled? <laughs> Look at us, Pearly. He's heard about us. A fancy city lawyer wanting to exchange a whole case for a channeling. The clan's really moving up in the world, huh? C clan Long story, Apollo. Long story. Ah, oh, come on. Don't play dumb. What else would you know us for? No, I don't want a channeling or whatever you guys offer. I actually wanted to ask you about the phase. Well, um, history? I think? Well, progress is progress. Nothing wrong with some interest, I guess. But we're kind of in the middle of something, so can you make it quick? Uh, yeah, of course, I'll try. You see, I work at a law office. It's called the... Oh, that's what Apollo's asking about. Okay, so he's just as confused as we are on the name, right? I think that's it. That's enough, kid. Ah! Oh! I'm sorry you had to deal with him, madame. We'll be leaving now. Uh... Huh? Well, wait a minute! Our office has no interest in your case. We won't bother you any further. Oh! That's okay. I just cleared everything up with your, um, apprentice? There was something else you guys wanted to know, right? No, no there wasn't. Oh, he's trying to cover it up. Let's go. But let's go. W what's going on? You'll get moving if you know what's good for you. Y yes, sir. Good. Oh, come on. I want to know. I want to know, too. His reaction. There's no denying it. The phase in the Fae Law Offices. They have to be connected. There has to be something going on here. Why name the office after people who don't even seem to know him? That's true. 
Godot doesn't seem to know Maya. This is my chance. I, I might have to quit, but I could at least figure out what's going on. Oh. Miss Faye, I have to know. I need some sort of reason. Our office. It's the Faye Law Offices. Do you have any idea? Excuse him, ma'am. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I, uh... Just forget about it today. There's no reason it should bother the two of you. Understand? Uh, okay, mister. Good. Let's leave it at that. Kid. Get moving. Y yes sir. Oh, that did not go well at all. <laughs> June 1st, 8.02 a.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Not Faye and Co. Law Offices, it's the Faye Law Offices. I need a read. This is awkward. Very awkward. I'm heading out. Uh, all right. Um, sir, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with you later. Probably gonna get fired. Uh, okay. Don't expect to get off scot-free for this. Oh, m or maybe not. Maybe it's just a really bad punishment. Especially if you try to pull something like that again. That wasn't even anything bad. It won't be pretty. Uh, of course, sir. Why don't you give me a straight answer, Mr. Goggle Boy? And he's gone. I mean, uh, that could have gone way worse. Though, I'm sure whatever he figures out for me later will be exciting. I have a feeling I won't be working here much longer anyway. Yeah, I don't think so either. So much for being taught under one of the best this side of the country. So, do I pack up now, or do I wait for that next paycheck? Wait for the next paycheck! There's nothing wrong with a little extra cash. Ah! Haha! <laughs> wow, you fell str straight out of your chair and everything. Nobody's ever that chumpy. Uh, how? How did you even get here? Oh, come on. It's normal to know where your own office is, right? Fay Law Offices. It says right out front. You really weren't bluffing. Huh. Interesting, so Maya doesn't know either. Uh, are you alright? Yeah, I'll survive. Just a little sore is all. Oh, okay, good. I'm not getting sued. <laughs> I only wish I was that good of a lawyer. Here you go, on your feet. Th thanks. So, uh, everything okay with your boss? He's not gonna kill you or anything. Literally or figuratively. <laughs> I, I think I'll make it one way or another. Oh, okay. Is that all you came here for? Don't you have a sister to defend? Cousin. My point still stands. Ah, come on, don't dismiss me like that. Have you given up on the mystery of the Fae Law Offices already? You're not supposed to quit so easily, it's supposed to bug ya. Well, it kind of looks like I'm in hot water if I try to push matters any further. Aw, that's not fun. Here I thought I'd give you all the answers, but oh well. Don't think I don't know what you're trying to do here. But is it working? It's <laughs> uh, Maya is good at being persuasive. So, it was the cyborg guy who made this the Fae Law Offices, huh? Oh, so it wasn't Mia. Huh. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be talking to you about this. Oh, come on. It's not like he'll know. Why are you bothering with him anyway? He doesn't seem all that fun to work with. You don't know the half of it, Miss Faye. I'm not planning on bothering with him much for much longer. Ah, so you're quitting soon. Well, that's plenty more reason to gossip, right? You're really insistent on getting your way, huh? Well, yeah, duh. Well, ever since Godot hired me, I've pretty much been stuck with all the office busy work. And there hasn't been a whole lot of teaching going on. Unless learning about coffee counts. It's been a few months now, and well... Oh, I see. So you were going to try and use me to get to your boss, huh? Y use you? No, of course not. I think. <laughs> There's no need to look so mortified. Why don't we make things mutual? Mutual? Think of it as a trade, is all. A trade? What are you going to trade? What do you mean, trade? Well, you want to unlock the secret of Mr. Godot's ice-cold heart. And it looks like that has something to do with us. Not how I'd put it, but go on. The point is, if you can figure out what's going on, you might just have a chance to reconnect, right? And that might fix things here at the office. Especially if you help one of the madams, as he put it. Well, maybe. 
I was kind of hoping to work the case with him, though. So I'll help you figure out why the resident weirdo named the office after us. Wait, so you don't actually know much more than I do, do you? Aw, oh, come on, don't be like that. Besides, I'm pretty interested in figuring this out, too. It's our last name, after all. So, is that where the trade comes in? Well, there's one more thing. It's about Pearl's case. You see, if we serve as defense on our lonesome in our case, won't be the most legitimate. We? I think the judge might appreciate a more traditional defense, with an actual defense attorney. Who would have thought? <laughs> and it'll help us avoid, uh, unwanted attention. So, if you could actually join me at the defense's bench, it might be really helpful. You don't really need to do all that much if you don't want to. Just act as front for us, okay? W wait what? I'll explain more later. Are you in or not? Uh, remember, you're keeping Pearly waiting. And it's no skin off my back if you end up getting fired. Uh, all right, all right, I'll take your case. No, you'll help me with my case. Does it really matter that much? Fussy, fussy. <laughs> I already like the interaction between Apollo and, and, and Maya. We didn't get a whole lot of that in like Spirit of Justice when Maya first came back. W well, we probably shouldn't hang around here. Right, of course. Ha! <laughs> this is going to be fun! Let's see Pearly and try to figure out what's up with that cyborg guy together. Come, oh fair assistant, to the detention center! From one extreme to the other. <laughs> oh well, I certainly could be around worse people. Alrighty, alrighty. Let us head to the detention center. June 1st, 8.26 a.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. Alright, sorry, Pearly. I'm back. Oh! Mystic Maya, why did you bring the attorney? Huh? Oh, oh, this is... This is Mr. Um, Apollo. Apollo Justice. This is Apollo. He's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna help us out. Oh, uh, Paulo. But why is he here? W we don't really need him, do we? Talk about a cold reception. Yeah, come on, Pearl. Uh, Pearly. Um, s sorry, no offense. Look, Pearly, you know what people think about our technique. Having a real defense attorney to be in charge of the case will look better to everyone else, right? Uh, hold on, hold on, your technique? Oh, right. Mr. Justice, please... Consider further contact with the Fey Clan. A excuse me? Mystic Maya, did you tell him anything at all? Yeah, slowing it down a little would help. Oh, oops, we should probably get to that catching up part, huh? Yes, yes, please and thank you. Fey Technique. Maybe we could start with a bit more about how you two actually are first. Mystic Maya, you didn't even introduce us? He might as well be a stranger and you're letting him help with the investigation. Um, I'm right here. I have feelings, you know. Thanks. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry about it, Pearly. I've got it worked out, okay? But, look, we can fix it right now, can't we? Mr. Justice. Yes? Mystic Mai is the master of our whole village. So you don't even, so don't you even think about trying to something that might hurt her. Uh, all right, I promise. Shouldn't you be the one we're worrying about? I mean, you're the one in jeopardy here. R right, sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all right. How about you catch me up about this whole technique thing you two keep mentioning? Oh, um, right. M me and Mystic Meyer are spirit channelers. We practice the Karain channeling technique. Karain? Mystic Mai is the leader of the Fey Clan, which, um, th the clan kind of revolves around our powers. Me, Mystic Maya, and everyone else in the clan live in a small village near the mountains. Good old Karain village. Spirit channelers, huh? Yep, you heard, right? We can communicate with the dead. I know it's a little weird, Mr. Justice. You don't have to believe us at first, but please... No, it's, uh, it's fine, actually. Huh? Huh? What? I, um, I've heard about spirit channeling before is all. Huh? Oh, right, Spirit of Justice with Dirk and, and, and Nayuda and all that. R really Um, yeah. Though I didn't think it was possible for there to be any here. Nice, we're moving up, aren't we, Pearly? I told you all, our, all your effort would be paying off soon, Mystic Maya. He's heard of us. 
That makes things a lot easier. I didn't expect you to be so open-minded, Paulo. Well, I'm not sure how real it is, but I'm not here to question your beliefs right now. B besides, seeing is believing, so um, maybe you could show me later? Oh, we will. <laughs> That's very ominous, Maya. What are you planning? So, if you're both spirit mediums, then why exactly are you parading around pretending to be a defense attorney, Miss Faye? Well, you've answered your own question, haven't you? It's because I'm a spirit medium. Uh, huh? Wait, are you planning on channeling someone? Right on the money. I'm not going to sit back and do nothing when I can help my little cousin. My sister used to be an expert defense attorney, top of her class. Hey, Mia, are we going to see Mia then? She'll make sure everything turns out all right. Your sister was a defense attorney? Uh, what is it? Oh, Pearly, you remember that visor guy and how his office was named after us. I'm gonna help Paulo here figure out what's up with that. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sure Sis will be a great lead. And since you're going to be helping out with the case, you're bound to meet her. She knew all the legal types back in the day, and that office you're working at, that's her old office. Oh, so you did know. Wait, so it was named... it was still... I'm very confused. I'm really confused right now. So, she's gotta know something. Could we channel her right now? Well, we could, but... I'm not getting anything until we get to the actual courtroom, am I? Well, I gotta make sure you make good on your promise. I can't have you running off on me now, can I? Fair enough. Uh, of course. Wait a second, Mystic Maya. Um, weren't you gonna channel Mystic Mia for the investigation? Oh, come on, I can investigate. It'll be fun. Besides, you know how long court can go on for. You don't want me- no, you don't want to overexert me, do you? I'll just tell sis what happened later, okay? Well, if you say so, Mystic Maya. Guess I'm stuck with you then, Miss Faye. Haha, <laughs> the plan is working. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> I love these character interactions so far. This is so fun. So, how exactly did you end up here, Pearl? If you don't mind me asking. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. But me and Mystic Maya took the train out to the city yesterday to visit a few friends. When I was done, I saw her off and got on the train back to our village. Mystic Maya still had some errands and I was supposed to channel a spirit for someone at the village. But that didn't end up happening. The, the train, there was an accident while we were pulling into the village. A steel beam crashed straight into the car we were in. The, the train came to a sudden stop and, and the impact knocked me, knocked me straight out. When I woke up, I... I saw the other passenger. She she was I tried to help. I thought you might might have still had a chance. B but I made everything worse for you, Mystic Maya. I'm sorry. Pearly, Pearly, calm down. It'll be okay. Just calm down. We'll win this. I promise. We have to. I had, what was I thinking? She's probably been up all night about this. It's okay. You don't have to talk about it anymore if you don't want to. N no you need to know, don't you? I'm sorry, Pearly. Just tell us a little more, please. You can do that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what happened with the victim's body? She was tied up. That steel beam that crashed into the car, it was electrified and... Ah, so it was electrocution. S someone had taken one of the trains... The... Oh, oh, the trains. Someone had taken one of the trains strap hangers. Y you know, the ones you hang on to when there's there are no seats left. Someone had taken it and tied her to the beam. Whoa, okay. Since the strap hanger was rubber, I, I thought maybe I could get the body off. I might have been able to help. She, she might have still been alive. But, but now my fingerprints are all over it. A and the police think... I, I really messed things up for you. I'm so sorry. Pearly, you were just trying to help. Don't stretch yourself out. You've been through a lot. See, even Paulo is okay with it. I'm sorry, Pearly. Ah, the stupid glass! I, I wish I could reach out and comfort you. We'll get you out of there as soon as we can, okay? And then I'm gonna make up for lost time. Everything will be alright, Pearl. I'll do everything I can to help you get your acquittal. As long as you're telling the truth, there's nothing to fear. I know I'm not anyone to you, but I believe you. I mean, you're still just a kid. We'll prove your story in court.
see, Pearly, he already believes you. It won't be hard to convince everyone else. And you know, Sis won't let us down either. Right. Thank you, Mr. Justice. Wait for us, okay? We'll be back to check up on you before you know it. I'll be okay, Mystic Maya. Okay then, let's move out, Paulo. Alrighty. Let's do it. Uh, alright. We'll be heading to the Karayan train station. Oh. Is that the crime scene? June 1st, 10.51 a.m. Karine train station. Gee, you actually get me excited to get down to work for once. And then I had to sit through a multi-hour train ride just to get to the second closest station. Not to mention how long it took to get from that station to the village itself. I had to wait well over two hours just to do anything. Oh, boo-hoo, you're here now, aren't you? There's still the trip back. That's four hours of my day just to check out the crime scene. I should have at least brought some paperwork or something. <laughs> Maya's freaking look right now. She's like, are you serious, paperwork? Are, are you serious, Mr. Justice? I ought to take that paperwork and slap you in the butt. W what is it? He really has you trained, doesn't he? <laughs> what do you mean by Oh. Well, you had a point. Enough time has been wasted. Let's get down to investigating. No evidence will hide from my watchful gaze. Why do I doubt that heavily? Then why are you looking at me expectantly? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? I want to see how good you are at this investigating thing. Come on. Show me your best skills. R right here? This isn't even the crime scene. So what? There could still be some useful information. Get to it. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we're examining. I mean, there's some pretty important stuff right there. So that's the accident in question, is it? Yeah, looks like it. Huh. <sighs> it's gonna be a total mess to make sure that gets properly repaired. I hope they don't make me pitch in for the train car, too. I don't see why they would. It's not exactly your fault. Oh, Paulo, you're so young. Somebody's already let her age get to her head. <laughs> Let's just get a closer look already. You can't take a step closer, ma'am. This is a high-risk area. Uh, where do you come from? If you get too close, you might get electrocuted. Zap. All right, all right, I'll be careful. Maybe we should back off a little, Miss Faye. Miss Faye? Oh, is there a problem? Come back here, please. All right. <laughs> and stop with that smug smile. Aw, oh, what's wrong, Paulo? You're not afraid of anything, are you? Zap! Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> oh, it's good to have Maya back. Alright, let us... Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's all we need to examine, right? Do I need to examine the train itself? Oh, no, okay, alright. Never mind. Hang on a sec. Give me one. Okay, yep, alright. Cool, yep, alright, yep. Skip all that, okay. It looks like a display of travel pa pamphlets. Let's see here. They're all the same pamphlet. Well, the village is the best attraction here, after all. And the only one. <laughs> Are you going to take one? You will, won't you? Why so enthusiastic? Me and Pearly created all of them by hand. We spent a whole afternoon crafting them with care. By hand? That's actually impressive. Didn't even use a computer for that. I guess that explains why there's so much glitter at the bottom of the stand. <laughs> How long have we- have these been here? Um... A while. Just take one, okay? <laughs> Crane pamphlet, forcibly added to the court record. Okay, cool. So, okay, so we definitely have to, um, examine everything here. It doesn't look like the train schedule has changed since yesterday. Well, yeah, trains can't exactly pull into the station with the wreck there. It's pretty hard to get in and out of the village like this. As the two-plus-hour journey would attest to- Oh, wait, oops. Uh, that was Apollo, right? We're all trapped and there's no escape. <laughs> I don't think that bodes well for your little village. We're not a little village, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I don't think that bodes well for your medium-sized village. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Train schedule after the court record. Well, do you feel like you've had a real investigative experience now? I mean, I investigated a total of three things, Maya. I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> To be called a real investigative experience, anyway. Not really. <laughs> hey, hey, just because we're not at the crime scene doesn't mean what we find isn't going to be important. Besides, just think of it as a test run. 
I don't think reading a schedule and picking up your pamphlet really qualifies as investigative experience. Aw, oh, come on, sure they do. I think you just wanted me to take a pamphlet. Fine then, if you're so eager, we'll head over to the crime scene now. Alright, alright, no need to get upset. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's head back to the crime scene. Er, head to the crime scene, I should say, because we've never seen this before. June 1st, 11.06 a.m., passenger car 2. Alright, the scene of the crime is the next car over. That's when we'll be making some real progress on the case. Or where we figure out the case is near hopeless. <laughs> Dang, Apollo is so pessimistic. Eh, glass half full, glass half empty. Oh, hello there. Ooh, this music. Ooh, yeah. It's funky. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the funk. Yeah. Oh, my. If it isn't the local darling. How are you doing, sweetie? I think that's an appropriate voice. Oh, hey, Perun. Well, hello, Miss Mystique. How's the little village stint going for you lately? Your people still love you to bits, don't they? Let's hope they're taking good care of you. I'm fine, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry, we're kind of trying to conduct an investigation here. Oh, here I thought you were standing around in a dysfunctional train so you could sweat some heat off. Uh, come on now. I know you two are here for poor little P Miss Pearl. Nobody would want to be here otherwise. So, are you here for the same reason? Yes, the prosecution seems to think I'm a witness of some sort. I'd hardly count myself as one, but I'm stuck in the heat for hours anyway. They've really been really efficient at questioning that other witness, haven't they? Well, since you're waiting around here, maybe you can answer a few questions for us instead. Heh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been told to keep my trap shut, darling. But they're the ones that have been making you wait around for so long. <laughs> it's their fault, isn't it? Well, I suppose I, I like the sound of that well enough. Sure, I'll say what I feel like. What's the cute kid you dragged along with you, Maya? C cute kid? Oh, he's Apollo Justice. He's gonna be the defense for Pearly. Defense attorney Apollo Justice, huh? How delightfully unfitting. What lovely little horns. Why, I could just reach over and flick them. Keep your hands away from the hair! You know how much gel it took to style it this good? Now, now, no need for the glare. It's okay, I'm just teasing. I'm Perun Shears. Try not to forget it when we finally go to court, will you? I wasn't planning on it. Okay. I like this character so far. She's nice. Perun Shears. So, why exactly were you on the train during the incident? You were on the train during the incident, weren't you? Oh no, obviously not. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, darling, the look on your face. It's adorable. What? No, it's not. You really need to learn to ask better questions, dear. I was making a delivery out to the village yesterday. I'm a florist, so I ship plants out to the local herbery here. Some of the darlings just aren't suited for the r rocky mountain soil and the salty ocean air. Not that I blame them. My carefully tended gardens are far better than, than here could ever be. You just keep that in mind if you want anyone channeled. Well, your village is still so short on cash, you'll let me in regardless, right? I, I guess. Who, who exactly were you delivering to? Ah, oh, the herbery's right across from the station. It makes things easier for me. I have quite the heavy load, you see. Uh, flowers? Oh no, I come out all the way out here with a small parcel because that's a good use of time. <laughs> Jeez, Paulo, get it together. Oh my god. How was I expected to know that? Hmm. So Mr. Season was expecting to see you, was he? Who's Mr. Season? Who's Mr. Season? I never heard of him. With this place so close to the station, he might have been seen something. We should make sure to go check with him later. You get that, Paulo? Okay. Okay, okay. We'll meet him then. What you witnessed. Can you tell us exactly what you saw? Particularly what the prosecution was interested in? That'd be really nice. And why? It was certainly subtle. Um, would you like me to rephrase that? Well, you have to now that you suggested it. Right, of course. Way to go, me. 
Um, did anything interesting happen yesterday? Yeah, I was on a train that got in a wreck. Oh, really? How surprising. <laughs> oh my god, I love this lady's sarcasm. It's hilarious. How was that? Unexpected, to say the least. Oh, come on, can't you just tell us already? Oh, I kind of wanted to see how that played out. We don't exactly have time. Important investigation, remember? Sorry, sorry, you're right. Important vis investigation. I really didn't want to witness that much, though. I saw the woman who got killed go into an empty room with your cousin. What a great tidbit for our case. The police seem particularly interested in the victim's actions. She tapped little Pearly on the shoulder and whispered something to her before they went in. The victim? Well, that's uh, better than Pearl doing it, I guess. Oh, yay, we went from a terrible start to a bad start. What a great upgrade. <laughs> Mr. Shears, how... Mr.? Seriously? Miss Shears, how exactly did you know the car they went into was empty? Well, this is such a dead-end village, people hardly come out here. There weren't very many people left on the train by the time we were pulling in. And did you notice anything else? I'm afraid not. We were starting to pull into the station, so I headed to the cargo car. This one just behind us. That's where my shipment was, you see. So I'm afraid I couldn't see any convenient details for you. I had to prepare to unload, after all. Prune statement out of the court record. Nice! We packing on the information. Hey Perun, you've met the detective, right? Maybe even the prosecutor? Well, yeah. I'm waiting for them to question me. Ooh, who is it? Who is it? I don't remember any names, dears. When you're dealing with the police, you just want to give them yes sirs and nothing else. Oh, come on. What do they look like? I want a description. Well, one was dressed in a black coat. Had sunglasses on, too. Like he was trying to be some sort of cliched secret agent or something. That doesn't sound very familiar as a detect as a detective or a prosecutor. Are we getting a new prosecutor or detective perchance? I think he was the detective. Big looking guy. Oh, it was a detective, I see. Paula, let's go check out the crime scene now. Now? Hey, I'm the lead of the investigation. You better know when to listen. Uh, alright, alright. We'll go see the detective. Oh, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, bye, Perun. Let's go to passenger car one. Oh! Yeah, that... There was definitely a train crash, alright. This place is in a wreck. Alright, here we are. The crime scene. Let's do this! See, that's the enthusiasm I was looking for. Let's get down to solving a murder. <gasps> oh my god, it's a Phoenix Wright reunion, boys. This confirms it. Yo! <laughs> Gumshoe, how's it going? You look markedly different with black sunglasses, I gotta say. But there's no hiding what's under there. We all know that good old face. Ow, it's you, pal. Yes, I thought so. Hey there, pal. Gonna see you again. And zone too, lucky me, huh? So, uh, who's the new guy? <laughs> I love this guy's eyebrow wiggle. I'm right here, you know. This is Apollo Justice. He's a defense attorney. I'm letting him tag along in my investigation. And um, well then, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. Nice to meet you, pal. Ow, ow, let go. That was a bit of a weak handshake. Well, yeah, my hand's throbbing. Ow, oh, sorry. Oh, don't worry, he can be a bit of a pushover. Hey, where'd you get that from? I'm helping you out here. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, Detective, I want an update. What's gone down here? Sorry, you know how it is, pal. I can't talk to lead attorney on the case, Pearl or nor Pearl. Oh, come on. Do you really think I'd let Paulo take Pearlie's case? That lead defense attorney isn't here. Look at the paperwork. It's not me or Paulo who's going to lead this case, remember? I guess you're not wrong, huh? Then you'll let us investigate, won't you? Hmm. Yeah, can't argue with that. Hey! Thanks, detective. Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Good old gumshoe. Hey, Detective, about Paulo here. He works under a very strict boss, you know? Always working him near to death. And the pay is real bad, too. He's practically being starved. Um, Miss Faye? Oh, really, pal? And you know how poor our little clan is, right? Yeah, of course. Hold on a moment. Let's see here. Oh, <gasps> Whoa! Hang on, wait a minute! When did Gumshoe get bank? I got a couple hundred bucks on me. Oh my god. 
Yes, please. A couple what? <laughs> all right, here's a couple for you. And no, no, it's all right. I don't need any money. I'll take. <laughs> oh my God! Have you no shame, Maya? Okay, Mal. All right, give me some. <laughs> Here you go. Maybe I should look into becoming a detective if this doesn't work out. And be careful, pal. It's not how I make it look. The pain really comes down to which prosecutor assigned under. And most aren't so, uh, generous. Oh. S so, uh, were you the one who made the arrest detective? Well, I, fin I was finishing up a dif different case in the town at the time, so now. I just ended up getting assigned here after I finished that one. You seem pretty familiar with Miss Faye, though. That's right, I've known her and Pearl since they were real young. <sighs> Why can't they have assigned another detective to this case? Come on, Gumshoe, it's probably better for her if it's you, right? Everyone keeps saying that. I, I know what the evidence says, but Pearl... You can't really work at your best when you don't believe in what you're doing, can you? Besides, it's not like Pearly would have any reason to commit a murder. Er, I, I wish I could say that. Wait, you have a motive? Oh, come on. No, you don't. I I'm afraid we might. Uh, the crash. So, how much have you figured out about the train crash, um, Mr. Gumshoe? Uh-huh, -huh, quite a bit, pal. Heh, <laughs> Mr. Gumshoe. Is there something wrong with that? No, no, not at all. If a happy Gumshoe is an easier Gumshoe to work with, I'll keep all the misters and sirs coming. I, apparently, it was just some kind of structural upkeep problem. An upkeep problem? That seems convenient. The train was supposed to stop at a little further down the track. So it still had a good amount of speed when it was pulling it into the station. The steel support from the station outside gave way as the train pulled in and slammed into this car. So are you saying this was just a coincidence? As far as we can tell... Gumshoe, a coincidence? That's all you have? It's probably on the line here. Pearly! Hey, it's not like either of us want uh, want to found the case on it, pal, but that's what the evidence says. And only Pearly and the victim were in this car when the body was found. The, car the crash completely shut off the car's power, so nobody would have been able to get from car to car. The doors between cars normally open automatically, but they can't without electricity. And the witness that found them walked in as soon as the power was back on. Here, why don't you take a look at the crash report yourselves? Maybe you'll find something that'll help you too. Crash report added to the court record. Oh my god, we are getting a lot of evidence. Uh, the murder. How much of a case does the prosecution have? It's a pretty complete one. The crime occurred yesterday. It was getting kind of late in the afternoon, if I recall correctly. The beam crashed directly into the source of the train's electricity. Basically, it would have been pretty lethal, pal. All it would take is one strong shove and, well... And are you sure the victim wasn't just standing in the wrong location when it happened? We thought of that, but she would have probably ended up under the debris if that was the case. Or at least have some sort of bruising. And her skin was clear as can be. No bruises in sight. We got the autopsy report right here if you want it. Autopsy report out of the court record. Forensic says that with the way she died, it could have only been the steel beam you see here. I gumshoe, why do you have to be so thorough? Couldn't you leave some, us some more convenient possibilities? Your testimony tomorrow better be riddled with contradictions, you hear me? Um, I'm not exactly planning on it. <laughs> Gumshoe! It, it's alright, Miss Faye. I mean, the more information, the better, right? If Pearl's not the killer, then we need to know as much as possible. Yeah, pal, I don't see how doing my job poorly will help. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. <laughs> Have you identified the victim yet? Well, yeah, who do you take us for, pal? Her name was Olive. Olive Nutt, apparently. She, um... She was a member of the Crane Clan, apparently. Uh, oh. How well did you know her, Maya? I recognize her face, yeah. I think, she, I think she was pretty far into the Branch family. Her name isn't Faye, so she couldn't be too close to my bloodline. She was probably a few generations removed from the main line. The main line? That would be my close family. We're usually the ones with the most spiritual power. Oh, I get it. It's sort of like a royal bloodline. Exactly. She's mumbling something. Is that some sort of prayer? You alright, Mal? Yeah, Gumshoe, I'll be fine. 
She's a member of our clan, but it's not like I'm close to everyone in the village. Besides, we both know I've been through far worse. Y yeah. Is there anything else we should know about? Apparently she had some sort of channeling schedule with Pearl later that day. Oh, so that was her, huh? I should probably make sure to ask Pearl about that when we meet up with her again. Alright, last one, the motive. What is it? What's your motive? Take a look at this, pal. A dagger? The witness who fi first discovered the crime scene submitted it to us. What does some dagger have to do with a motive, though? That's the thing. We possibly identified it as the victim's dagger. Her prints were all over the handle. We even have statements from people in the village saying it belonged to her. Dagger added to the court record. W wait and it was found here at the crime scene, right? So, so that means... Yeah, right now the police are thinking it was a matter of self-defense. There aren't many reasons why someone would bring a knife with, around with them, pal. And after we got that account from Miss Shear as well, she said the victim herself led Pearl into this car. Too many things line up. Well then, why are we bothering w with all this? If Pearlie was just defending herself, then why throw her in detention? <sighs> it's the circumstances, pal. What circumstances? I think I get it. With the way the body was discovered. She was tied to the... Yeah, tying the victim to what's essentially the murder weapon is, well... A little more than just defending yourself, pal. Wes Pearlie's been sticking to her story the whole time. She said nothing to confirm our current motive. As long as she's sticking to her story, then so am I. She didn't do a thing, gumshoe. I'm inclined to believe you, pal, but the evidence says otherwise. Still, it's good for us. The prosecution isn't going to be arguing for a murder charge. Yeah, that's great news. You're right. It's not like we're accusing of her a capital charge. It's not even worth a life sentence. But, well, our legal system is still harsh on any sort of crime, to put it lightly. Listen, pal, I don't want you and Pearlie to be separated. You both have been through enough. And with Pearlie, well, even if you get lucky and she's only put away for a few years... I don't want to see how it affects her. She's got enough going on as is. Don't worry, Gumshoe. We won't let you guys get win so easily. You said yourself that you have your doubts, Detective. If there's truth to find, I'll do everything I can to bring it to light. Haha. <laughs> you two better own us in court tomorrow, pal. We'll do our best. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, in that case... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to investigate the crime scene, right? What am I doing? <laughs> Still the same old ads here, even at the crime scene. Guess they've still got to sell product, even if there's been a murder. I'm sure they weren't placed with that intent, Miss Faye. Aw, oh, come on, you're no fun. Why can't you indulge me a little? <laughs> oh my god. On one side, these seats are just as comfy as ever. On the other, there's a giant safety hazard nearby and tons of rubble. It's like some, it's like some kind of weird metaphor. Life before and after that fateful day. Please don't. Aw, oh, why can't I have a little fun? There's seats, that's it! How are you expecting to be a lawyer if you're so unimaginative? You need to come up with absurd theories and loopholes. <laughs> Learn that from your old colleague, huh? This isn't about being imaginative. This is about preserving my sanity. Oop. Wow, wow, wow! Be careful around that, pal. W what is it? There's still a charge in that thing. You don't want to end up like the victim, do you? Aw, uh, Apollo, why are you backing away from it? Why are you getting closer? No reason. Uh, um, Detective, if I could ask you a question, and if you could please stop inching closer over there, Miss Faye. Wasn't the victim tied to this when you found him? Yep, she sure was. How exactly did you manage to get her off without getting shocked yourself? Uh, that one's on the railway company, pal. Trust me, we're doing our best to get it shut off. A lot of the trains are powered off of the same third rail thing. Third rail? It's about what it sounds like, pal. The train here runs across three rails, two normal ones and one that supplies electrical power. That's what the beam hit when it fell, and how it got charged up in the first place. If they were to shut off power now, no trains could travel down this whole line of track. I guess keeping business going is more important than murder these days, huh? <laughs> so we've got a giant safety hazard in the middle of the crime scene. Fabulous. We were only able to get the power off for a few hours after the murder occurred. Just enough to move the body, run a few tests, and replicate the crime scene. By replicate the crime scene, you mean wrap the strap hanger back around where it was, right? Yeah, you can't exactly attach body tape to a metal beam. 
Okay. Uh... Did I get everything? Oh, here we go. Have you gotten any fingerprints from the strap hanger yet? Yeah, pal, they have the time. Three guesses who they belong to. God dang it. And the first two don't count. <laughs> Pearl already told us what happened. You got the same story, huh? Sorry, Maya, it's just your luck. How did our killer get the strap hanger down that far in the first place? Should it really extend that much? Uh, that's in the blackout report, pal. There's a mechanism that's supposed to stop it from extending when it reaches a certain point. But with the power out, nothing was there to stop it. I'm sort of impressed the whole thing didn't fall straight out. Strap hanger out of the court record. Alright, I think that's just about all I have to tell you. You two better get on your way. We're still questioning that witness in the car ahead of us. I like the way this investigation is flowing, by the way. Like, it's clear when you should, you know, stop investigating one place and then go somewhere else. And I appreciate that. And I can only let you in on so much, with or without your loophole, Maya. Don't want to put my neck too far out there. Alright, alright. Thanks a lot, Gumshoe. We better get going. There's still a few more things I think we should cover. Right, see you in court, detective. See ya, pal. Nice. Okay. Uh, with that investigated, we shall move back to passenger car two. And then back to the Karine train station. And then seasonable herbery? Because we're supposed to meet Mr. Season, right? June 1st, 11.42 a.m. Seasonal herbery. <coughs> uh, can we open a window in here or something? Aw, is a little incense too much for you, Paulo? A little? I can hardly breathe in here. How's this place not burned down yet? Well, if you want to step out, I can do all the investigating. N no this place is right across from the station, so... Oh, hello! I'm not quite sure what voice to give this guy. Oh, just throw her a bone for once, will ya? Maybe that might be good. Hey, Mr. Season! Oh, 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 how nice of you to drop by. You're all over the place, aren't you, Mystic Maya? Well, of course I am. I have work to do. Do you want some tea, darling? Er, I mean, Mystic. Chamomile with extra sugar. Yes, please, and thank you. Alright, let me get a pot started. Alright. I'll be back in a moment. That's Hal Season, Paulo. He's been a member of the clan since I was just a little kid. Do you want the cute little cups on, with the cats on them, or the pretty floor ones, dear? Oh, uh, I'll take the cat ones, I guess? Okay, I'll go get something for the two of us. Uh, I'm here to... What's it to you, city boy? Yikes! Oh my god. You have some sort of problem with what I'm doing here. Clearly, he does not like me. No, no, sir. Good. Wait, I... And he's gone. Uh, I figured he might be like this. I'm sorry. It's not like it's your fault. Give me a sec. Hell season. Eep. You get back here. Y yes, Mystic. Get a cup for Paulo here, please. B but you're not going to mistreat a friend of mine, are you, Mr. Season? But the tea's not even done yet. All right, I'll get him one when it's ready. All right, um, I'm a little confused. The sign says this place is a herbery, but this room looks more like a living room to me. Bah, shows what you know. We folks in Karain are hardworking people, and yet we've been paid squat till recently. I don't have the money to open a separate building. You come here. You ask for herbs. You ask for salves. Salves? You ask for incense. You pay me. You get it? I don't need some fancy storefront to do good business. Don't you go telling me otherwise. I, I wasn't planning on it. Well, guess what? The people come, they buy. It's the traditional way, and it's the good way. You also happen to live at least two hours away from the nearest pharmacy out here. Ugh, Maya dear. Didn't you say you were going to have your sister investigate? Why did you have to bring this one along? He's not another one of your law friends, is he? Well, um... Gah, I knew it. Maya, how many times have I told you? Haven't you seen what happens when we get involved with those no-goods? They betrayed us, I, be I tell you. You ought to stop associating with them. If you have to bring someone from the city home, don't bring us this legal folk, at least. Even a politician would be better. You know what they say about lawyers, don't you? Oh, wow. Okay. Whole lot of bias just came to my way. Yep, I already don't like this guy. Neither do I, Apollo. Neither do I. Huh. <sighs> Mr. Season, please. We're just here to ask about the day of the crime. 
You're right across from the train station. Miss Ikmaya, you really should have let Mia take care of everything. She was the only good one of the lot of them. Heading out to the city with a real purpose. <sighs> Look where that got her. Associating with them folks. Ah, uh, she probably died the same way then, huh? Look, Apollo's just, um, a cover for us, okay? Sorry, Apollo. Y you know how people get angry with spirits in the courtroom. Ah, very clever, sweetheart. Lawyer boy here, Apollo. Apollo here is just a nice little front for you to get Mia in, is that it? Y yeah Can you talk now, please? I suppose so. You better not get in the way of them, Apollo. You hear me? They know what they're doing. You give them the respect they deserve now. Uh, of course. Uh, you know, it's probably not a bad idea for me to get info about the clan while I'm here, huh? He seems to know quite a bit, but I'm not sure I want to ask. Uh, I can already tell this is going to be a fun conversation. Yesterday. Psst, Miss Faye. Yeah, I know, I should probably do most of the talking. Mr. Season, did you happen to see any of the train crash yesterday? The station's right across from your window, so we thought you might have seen something. Were you up that late? I, it wasn't that late, Mystic Maya. For you and your old body, it was. Maybe. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about it, though. I think you're clever enough to know why. Ah, uh, has the prosecution already got to you? He says I'm supposed to zip it till the trial. The nerve of that boy. I'm probably triple his age. So you did see something. <laughs> Rest assured, Mystic Maya. When I'm called to court tomorrow, I'm going to tell him how it was. Don't worry, we'll make sure your testimony ends up helping Pearly. You bet you will. I won't let it be twisted any other way. But if the prosecution wants you as a witness, well, it's probably not- Don't you tell me what to do, city boy! Sure. I'll just wait to see what he thinks when, when it all pans out. If you don't mind, where exactly do trains usually pull in comparison to your house? Specifically, the first most passenger car. They don't necessarily have to be crashing trains. Just trains you see in every day and uninvolved in any incidents. For no particular reason, of course. Ah, here, let me get something for you. It might help put things into perspective. For no particular reason, just thought it would help our totally normal conversation. <laughs> Station diagram added to the court record. Thanks, Mr. Season. Don't mention it. Okay. Uh, what now? Do I present, perhaps? Uh, maybe if I present Perun. Do you know Perun by chance? Ah, oh, so they got Perun wrapped up in this too, have they? Yes, that makes sense. She gave me a shipment yesterday. A little late, too. She must have been locked up on that accursed train, hmm? Yes, she was. Ah, oh, poor thing. They're probably harassing her just like they are me. At least I get to see some half-reasonable people in that courtroom tomorrow. Uh, what about Olive Knot? What are you showing me now? I know- I don't know how you expect someone like me to know anything about that thing. I mean, you seem to have plenty of opinions. Did they teach you any manners at all? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm down a little, please. Back on topic, Mr. Season. Back on topic. But, but, remember, Pearly. Yes, yes, I suppose you're right. Jeez. I feel like I gotta present something to this guy. Maybe the station diagram? Nope. Oh, there we go. Mr. Season, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Um, I'd like to know a little bit about the Karain clan, if you could. Both the defendant and the victim are members. A and you're a witness, of course, so... Ah, maybe there's a bit of tiny bit of hope for you after all. Yes, yes, let me put it into perspective what exactly you've done to us. Oh, here we go again. I'm going to go get the rest of my tea. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yep, we were supposed to pre present something. The Fae Clan. Let me tell you, city boy, you come to the right person. I've been a member of the Fae Clan all my life. It's not an easy subject for narrow-minded outsiders like you to grasp. But you seem to think you're all that, so we'll give it a shot. Y yeah sure You see, years and years and years ago, Mystic Ami Fae brought a Karain channeling technique to this little village. Now, the Korean channel like technique. Um, can we maybe try for a bit more of a recent history lesson? Fine then, since you so lovingly asked for it, I'll tell you just how you ruined us. You should have known better. You see, up until a few days ago, the clan was just as respected and recognized as we'd always been. We had influence in the police force, foreign relations, and politics itself. Hey, Mr. Season. Huh? 
What are those sugar cubes you have? I need some for the tea. Our oh, uh, top left cabinet, cabinet over in the kitchen. Got it. Let's see. W where was I? Oh, right. The higher-ups trusted us so much that they bring uh, in the main family for various favors. Solving major crimes, asking for guidance from the greats of old. What have you? Uh, mostly in secret, of course. Then do you want to know what happened? I'm going to find out no matter what I say, aren't I? Well, they asked for Maya's dear mother here, wonderful woman, for help in this one case. They want to see if they can get the victim to testify for them. And what does she get us thanks for her help? You want to know? Mr. C is in. Are you sure they're in the left cabinet? I can't find them. Uh, I think I put them behind the shortening. I'll go check. Let's see. R right, right, that case. You see, that damned ghost of a lawyer, mind you, goes up and lies. Gives her the wrong person. Some paragon of justice he was. And they bring a corrupt defense attorney into the mix. And of course that case goes to hell. And then that idiot of a man. He goes and leaks our involvement in a case everyone's so furious about to the world. And what happens next? They crash the clan. They destroy it. Suddenly you're some manipulative sham of a person if you're anywhere near crying. Ah, so it's all the DLC. DLC? I meant DL6, not DLC. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Families start falling apart left and right. People see the clan on the decline for the first time in their lives and they run. We lose all our clients. Our money up and disappears. People aren't sure whether the clan can support them anymore. Found them. The whole world gives Maya's poor mother the blame with the clan falling apart around her to boot. No wonder she up and left. The wonderful deer tried to keep all the blame on herself, but we still fell into a million pieces. It's taken until just now with Maya here for the clan to, proper, uh, to prosper again. Just now. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way, darling. Oh, uh, thanks. Sugar cubes, Paulo? Y yeah sure Do you understand me now, boy? You folks ruined our standing, our families, everything we had. That's why I don't want any of you city folk invading this here village. Uh, I can see that. He's making it really hard for me to feel bad for him with that attitude, though. Yeah. Well, was it worth it, Paulo? I'm honestly not sure how much more I actually understand. You know what? Yeah, let's say it was worth it. <laughs> You can get a pretty clear view of the train crash from here. You see more train station than village, honestly. I bet that bothers a certain somebody. A shame of them to ruin what could have been such a good view. Do you think that could have been holy ground, Mystic Maya, dear? No, Mr. Season. Ground isn't holy just because people are doing something you don't want on it. Well, I think that's everything we wanted to hear from you, Mr. Season. Ah, uh, okay, I had to examine the window. Okay, that makes sense. I think we're gonna go check on Pearly now. Unless there's something else Paula wants to do. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Hmm? What is it? Bring this to little Pearl for me, won't you? She deserves a little something for what she's been through. Oh! Oh, of course! I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince the guards to give it to her, but I'll try. You vouch for her, city boy. You hear me? Yes, sir. Alright, don't keep her waiting too long, then. Alrighty, sounds good. Alright, we're done with Mr. Season then. Let's go ahead. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess we're getting something here. June 1st, 12 18 p.m., Crying Train Station. Well, I think that's everything for. Paulo, shh! W what is it? The prosecutor's over there. Ooh, ooh, I wonder who it is. He might be talking about something important. Come on, over here. I really don't. I don't really don't see how this is necessary. Ow, ow, okay, I get it. Let go of my tie. Well, that should be about everything covered. You're free to go now. You're probably going to have to find somebody who will take you to the next station over, though, pal. Oh, you're probably going to have to find somebody who will take you to the next station over, though, pal. I'll cover for the cast if you'd like. No, no, I can take care of myself, I assure you. Besides, I prefer to find my method of travel on my lonesome. Cut your own path and all that jazz, you know? Well, until tomorrow, gentlemen. Oh, are you the prosecutor? You look like a very interesting prosecutor. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Pardon me for interrupting whatever you were doing. I should go, shouldn't I? Y yes, please. Some great hiding spot you found, Miss Faye. Oh, hush, at least we got to see who they were talking to. Hey, Mal, did you hear something? 
damn it, Paulo, you totally blew our cover. I still don't see why we need it in the first place. I'll take care of it, detective. Oh! Is the, that wasn't the prosecutor, was it? Then who was that? We should probably get started with our other witness. She didn't seem particularly happy to be waiting. Uh, all right, take care of yourself, pal. I'll be fine. Uh, all right, I'm through with this. C come on, don't be like this. Just pardon me. Ah! <gasps> oh my god, this ain't just a Phoenix Wright reunion. This is an Edgeworth Investigations 2 reunion too. Oh my god. Where have you been, dude? God dang, I haven't seen this guy in forever. I mean, he was literally only in one game, but dang. What exactly do you think you two are doing? Uh, hi? It was her idea. What? I mean, all things considered, it was probably was your idea, Miss Faye. C come on, why are you both ganging up on me? You two don't even know each other. Yo, Sebastian, how has it been? Um, you're the prosecutor for this case, correct? Oh, pardon me. Chief Prosecutorial Protégé. Sebastian DeBest at your service. Ch Chief Prosecutor? Ah, uh, yes, I was an apprentice of sorts to a current Chief Prosecutor, Edgeworth. Ah, okay. I like that. I got lucky, to be honest. He's someone even I can't compare to. And you're a friend of Miss Faye's? My mentor and myself, yes. Uh, excuse me? Just how connected are you? <laughs> Come on, Paulo. You should have figured out I'm not just some frail back-end village girl by now. Th that's not what I was implying. I wasn't aware I was, in was going up against a, well, normal lawyer for this case. I haven't seen you around before. Oh, I'm, um, Apollo Justice. Heh, I, I guess we just haven't been on any of the same cases before. He's a total rookie. Miss Faye! Oh, well that explains it. Great, I'm not allowed any good first impressions, am I? What exactly happened to the, um, previous attorney? Oh, she's still plenty involved. We just figured it might be a little risky to put the Faye clan front and center. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> it's cool seeing Maya interacting with Sebastian the best as if they already know each other. That's actually very interesting. I wonder if Maya knows Courtney as well. <laughs> hey, uh, can you maybe pull a few strings and change the paperwork up a little? Just make sure your boss doesn't catch on to what we're doing, okay? I'll see what I can do, Miss Faye. Thanks, that'll save me a lecture later. Regardless, it's good to meet you, Mr. Justice. Uh, oh, you too. Finally a little respect. Man, he seems actually pretty nice, and a lot more confident than we last saw him. You better bring your best in court tomorrow. Don't you dare disappoint me. Right, tomorrow. Alright, tomorrow's case. So what exactly was with your old hide-and-seek act there, Miss Faye? You still haven't proven it was my idea. It was clearly your idea. It was clearly your idea. <laughs> I just wanted some extra info on the case, that's all. You could have talked to that witness for a bit longer, you know. I'm sorry, Miss Faye. This case is important, but I'm not going to violate protocol for you. Come on, just this once. No. Please. Uh, stop that. Oh ho ho, is the begging working? I said I wouldn't leak information and that's final. Bye, you're not as fun as you used to be. I would have thought Gumshoe would at least balance you out and prevent you from getting too stuffy. Uh, you two will be doing your best for Pearl tomorrow, right? Y yeah, of course. You're gonna be up against my sister tomorrow, Sebastian. Of course it'll be a good defense. Good, I, I need to be confident what I find is the truth. The best way to find the truth is through the battle of prosecution and defense. I don't want to declare her guilty without reason. Which is why- N no Miss Faye. How strong do you think your case is? Well, I spent most of last night researching into different possibilities, but the evidence always points to the same thing. And we have two pretty definitive witnesses as well as plenty of circumstantial evidence. If the story Pearl's been sticking is really true, you two have a lot to prove. Don't worry, we're gonna bring it, right, Paulo? Uh, of course, if there's any way I can help out, then I don't plan on holding back. Good to hear. I hope you're better than the normal rookie defense attorneys I go up against. Oh my god. Hey! We just need as much talent as possible on both sides of the courtroom, that's all. 
Well, we better get going. Pearly's waiting. I should probably go check on that detective. I've been told he's not the best person to leave alone with witnesses. You better bring your A-game next time we meet. Same to you. You better make sure we don't chase after the wrong theory for half the case. Of course I won't, Miss Faye. Who do you take me for? I'll make sure that only the best logic flies in court tomorrow. Yes! Ugh. Aw, we just want to see due justice done, don't we? One more pun and I'm dropping this case. Aw, uh, come on, lighten up a bit. Yeah, lighten up a bit. Puns are awesome, Apollo. Immerse yourself in the world of puns. Okay, detention center. June 1st, 2.34 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Shall be in a few minutes, ma'am. Please wait patiently. Alright, thank you. It's no problem. So, Apollo, what do you think of the investigation? Not too bad, huh? I mean, it was nice to change of pace, if nothing else. Way better than office work, that's for sure. Well, for the most part. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too much of a fan of Mr. Season, I'll admit. Sorry about him. I survived. Still, I think we did a pretty good job overall, though. I guess I'm no expert. Hmm, I hope I can remember everything I need to write down for Sis. Can I see some of your evidence? I need to take some notes. Go for it. Yes! Let's go! Mystic Maya, ultimate n investigative note taker. Thanks, Paulo. Talk about enthusiastic. Maybe it's just because I've been dealing with God Godot for so long. But I'll admit, it's been kind of nice to have her around. Hey, Miss Faye. Just Maya's fine. Really, I'm tired of all the stuffy stuff at the village anyway. Oh, um, okay, Maya. I'm just curious, where exactly were you when Pearl was arrested? I think Pearl said you two had gone out to the city, am I right? Well, yeah, duh. Sorry, that just kind of seems weird to me. Why would the two of you both come here and then separate halfway through your visit? H hold on, probably had to do with channeling at the village, remember? Yeah, but why even bring Pearl to the city then? Wouldn't it have been easier to stay in the village and take a later train? Come on, Paulo, don't be silly. There's no grand reason for it. That's just how it worked out. Oh! There it is again. My bracelet. Why does it keep doing that? Ah! The last time it happened. I'm not sure whether that leaves us with Mr. Sharp's motive, though. S Sir Edwin, he's always been peculiar, but... To, to think he actually... He's our most likely suspect right now. At least I hope he is. You know him better than I do. Can you think of any reason he might have... Well... N no, I can't see why he'd make such a big deal out of my silly research paper. And it went off there. Ah. Okay. So maybe. It's just a hunch. But I have a feeling you're not being completely honest with me. Yep. He figured it out, everyone. <laughs> Excuse me. C come on. What's the big deal, Apollo? If you think what I did was so weird, then prove it. What's wrong with Pearly leaving halfway through our visit? Maybe it's the train schedule, perhaps? Miss Fay, er, I mean Maya, could you look at the train schedule? The only train you could have taken to leave Karayim Village that day left at 2.30pm. What? How do you know it was that train? The murder occurred at 7.02. It's a two-hour trip, or a four-hour round trip. That also means Pearly would have to get on the 5 o'clock train. That would have only left Pearl 30 minutes in the city. And that's not counting the time you needed. To get off the train to your destination and get her back onto the train. That just doesn't seem worth it to me. What could possibly be so important? Ugh, you don't need to pry into everything. It was important, wasn't it? Maya, what I'm hearing is that before Pearl stepped on the train ride that got her arrested, you went to the city to do something incredibly important to you. Is it wrong to assume it could be relevant? Y yeah I guess I see why you'd want to know, huh? Look, um, it's kind of personal, so I won't tell anyone else if you don't want me to. Uh, Alright. The truth is, there's someone who's meant a lot to me who's... who's, um... gone? Y yeah. And we started something of a tradition a while back. Is she referring to Phoenix? At the end of every month, we'd come to the city and, well, we'd visit. But, well, it's kind of hard to interact with someone when their spirit is taking over their body. So if Pearl isn't there, you don't get to interact with your friend. Mm-hmm. Is there any reason you have to go to the city to do this? It's not just me and Pearly. Gumshoe's usually there, too. And there's someone else I'd like to convince to join us someday, but, um... 
He doesn't really like the whole spirit thing. Oh, it's Phoenix, isn't it? So Phoenix is dead. So even if it was just for a little while, I had to make sure we did it. I was happy to stay in the city for longer and donate some more of my time. It's only fair after all. It, um, it was too early. So I let Pearly go take care of the channeling and stayed in the city that day. Besides, I don't want Karain Village to know about this. It's my duty to put us back on the map and we certainly have our share of internal problems. They need a good strong leader to unite them. And well, I already don't exactly scream this person has leadership qualities. I'm so sorry. M maybe it would have been better not to pry. It's fine, you're just doing your job. It makes sense why you were suspicious. It's kind of nice to talk about from time to time, to be honest. Just don't tell, okay? Definitely not Pearly. She'll freak out if she knew I told a stranger this much. My lips are sealed. Thanks, Paulo. Right this way, ma'am. Hey, Pearl. Ah, Pearly, good timing. Wh what's wrong, Mystic Maya? Huh? You look upset. D did the investigation not go well? Why did she look me straight in the eyes while saying that? She does not trust you. <laughs> no, it went well. I was just worrying about you, that's all. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mystic Maya. It's all right. We'll tell you what we found. How about that? Okay, let's talk. And then hopefully that'll be a wrap-up for the investigation, because this video's gone on long, en long enough. Here, look at all the evidence we found. We have more than enough to work with for the trial. I'm sure it'll be fine. Plus, we were able to sneak in conversations with quite a few of the witnesses while we were at it. We know the prosecution's plan down to a T. W well, I wouldn't go that far. Ignore him, Pearly. He probably doesn't have the experience I do, anyway. What do you consider experience again? Um, Mystic Maya, is Detective Gumshoe still the lead detective on the case, L like he said he would be? Mm-hmm, extra good news for us, huh? Plus, the prosecution's arguing that this is a self-defense case, not a murder case. An imperfect self-defense case, to be exact. The charges tend to be treated more like manslaughter than murder. Geez, since when did you actually know the law? Um, I'm a lawyer? Self-defense, but, but then... Yeah, Olive had a dagger on her at the time. You didn't see her pull it out, did you? Not even reach for it? N no, nothing like that happened when we were together. And I passed out as soon as the crash happened. I see. There's something else I'd like to ask you about if you don't mind. Go ahead. One of the witnesses said that it was the victim who wanted to meet with you in that train car, right? Mm-hmm. She told me she had something to, she wanted to talk about in, in private. Detective Gumshoe told us you were scheduled to channel some for her later that day. That's what I assume Miss Nam wanted to talk about. Can you tell us everything you knew about the victim then? I'll do what I can. Okay, the victim? Olive was a member of our clan's branch family. Uh, has Miss Maya told you about that? It's sort of like a bloodline thing, right? Yeah. In our clan, the closer you are to the blood of the main family, the more likely you, have to, to, uh, you are to have spiritual power. Since Mystic Maya is the master, she's considered the head of the main family, a and I guess I'm the second closest for now. It's sort of a status thing. For a long time, members of the branch family have been considered inferior to us. It's led to a less than pretty history for the clan, to say the least. You make it sound like your clan's been through one tragedy after another. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're really not wrong. Due to, the ga due to the gap in status between families, when our clan was disgraced all those years ago, well, we lost most of the members of our branch family, especially men. Th that's why Olive wanted me to try some to channel some of her family members. She wanted to know if any of them had died since they left the clan, and maybe even have a chance to talk to one of them again. And that's why she'd gone to the city that day, too. We need a face and a name to channel a spirit, and a lot of us don't even remember that much. But if it was such an important channeling, then why would the vi victim have any intent to kill you? It could be a potential hole in the prosecution's argument, at least. Either way, I better keep I better keep all this in mind for when we go to the trial. Okay, channeling record added to the court record. Uh, after the incident. There's one more thing I'd like to know about, if it's okay. We heard there was a witness who entered the car as soon as po the power came back on. Oh yeah, him. While I was, uh, trying to untie the body, the light suddenly came back on. And I think there was an announcement over the intercom. I, I was in a bit of a daze, so I didn't notice him at first. But that's probably when the victim, a witness, came into the car. 
Uh, he had dark red hair and a little conductor's cap. Oh, that was the that was the guy we saw. So so he's probably the train conductor, right? Oh, I think we saw him in passing. He was dressed in black and gold, right? Yeah. Yeah. He made his way over to me and um Then he had the shocked look on his face and grabbed something off the ground. Gunshu said the witness who found you submitted the victim's dagger to the police. Could that be what he grabbed? It could have been. Afterward, he um, escorted me to the conductor's car. He, he made another intercom announcement and then he called the police on his cell phone. He, uh, he washed over me until the police arrived. Did he say anything in particular to you? I'm so sorry. All I make memories are foggy. I was so panicked. I, I think he was trying to be nice, though. I, I'm not sure. It's okay. The info you gave us is already more than enough. Yeah, it was a huge help, Pearly. I think that's most of it covered. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about, Polo Apollo? No, I think I'm set. The trial's at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, courtroom number 2. Alright, I won't forget it. I think I'm going to stay here with Pearl for a little longer, if you don't mind. Oh, before you go. Would you mind trying to get this through the guards for Pearly? Hmm, what's that? Mr. Season got it for you. I think it's some kind of pastry something? I doubt he baked it himself. He probably bought it off someone from the village. I'll take good care, uh, care of it. Okay, thanks, Paulo. See you in court tomorrow. Of course, I'll be there. Later, Maya. Later. To be continued. Let's go. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here for now. This this investigation has gone on for a long time, but I'm very happy with this case so far. It's very interesting. I like how we're getting a lot of, like, you know, um, old Phoenix Wright characters back into the into the foray. You know, we got, we got Sebastian, we got Gumshoe, we got Apollo, and we got Pearl. That's four characters already, so I'm glad we're going to get a lot more out of recurring characters. And I hope that will provide more insight into what exactly this alternate universe has i mean we definitely got some of it so far more than likely phoenix Wright is dead so that's something also gumshoe apparently has a lot of money now god dang this guy's blowing off bucks <laughs> definitely not how it was in the previous games anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like what you saw or if you think i'm really stupid and you want to see me fail more uh please make sure to subscribe to this channel or and also subscribe to my geometry dash channel the link will be in the description below and also feel free to check out my twitch channel where i of course stream live thank you everyone and i will see you guys in the next video bye peace